The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. This week, the National Farmers Union's 121st Anniversary Convention is underway in San Francisco, California. And on Monday, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Bilsack spoke to convention attendees and announced significant new resources to increase available financing for independent meat and poultry processors and revealed a new meat labeling proposal. We're also today announcing a new rule involving product of the U.S. Currently, animals slaughtered outside of the U.S. but processed inside the nation are allowed to have a product of the USA label. This label is currently assessed on products if they're processed in the U.S., which means they could be born someplace, they could be slaughtered someplace, they could be raised someplace else, but not in the U.S. and still get this label. The proposed rule that we're putting out today would say if you want to use this label, or you want to made made in the USA label for beef, poultry, processed eggs, pork, you can only do it if the critter was raised here, born here, raised here, slaughtered here, and processed here. In fact, everything not in here. Montana Farmers Union President Walter Schweitzer said the new rule provides increased clarity and transparency for consumers. Uh, the Packers have been utilizing this loophole to, to bring in uh, uh, meat from from foreign nations and and packaging it here in the United States and then misleading our consumers that uh, they were actually purchasing a product of USA. This voluntary label of product USA can only be put on beef that was born, raised, and processed in the United States. And, and you know, it's a good first step to quit lying to the consumer, uh, but you know, we need to get mandatory of country of origin labeling so that, that the consumers of this nation, uh, like many other nations around the world, can know where their beef comes from. The proposed rule for product of the USA labels will be open for public comment for 60 days after publishing in the Federal Register. We'll be right back.